Hey my lovelies, thank you so very much for joining me. My name is Claire. I hope you're all doing really well. It is an honor to have you here in this community joining me today. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about increasing your magnetism. The fact is people don't respond to us based on our words, what we're saying, or even our body language. People respond to our vibe, and the fact is our vibe never lies. So you wanna cultivate a magnetic vibe, okay, so that what you want comes to you. It's a common misconception that manifestation is something that we have to earn, that we have to strategize, that we have to plan, that we have to jump through hoops, that we have to figure things out. No, manifestation is about getting into alignment with what already exists a possibility or a potential that already exists, okay? And it is true that it already exists. If you can imagine it in your mind, then that possibility already exists. So it's about tuning into that. So what you wanna do is you wanna be a magnetic person, right? And when you're magnetic, you don't have to chase things. Things come to you. It's the easy way of living life, okay? It's the easy, harmonious way of having this human experience. So the way that you can increase your magnetism is to decide that you are a magnetic person. The fact is that we get to decide who we are. Often we think, this is the way I am. But the way that you are is based on your conditioning or your programming, right, from your childhood, from everything up until this moment, from all your past experiences, from the things that your teachers told you, your parents, your church, society, right, um, the media, Hollywood, right, we've been programmed. We were born innocent, we were born pure, we were born with blank minds, right? None of this. Um, and then we were programmed just like a computer with certain programs, with like software that was downloaded into us. Okay, and what is that software for you? Is it just like love is difficult, relationships are difficult, relationships are compromised, relationships are a struggle, right? People don't want to know me. It's difficult for me to connect. It's difficult for me to make friends, right? Whatever it is. People think I'm strange. People think I'm weird. I'm not, I'm shy, Right? I'm shy around love, I'm shy around guys, I'm shy around girls, right? Whatever it is, those are your limiting beliefs that you can overcome and the way that you overcome them is to choose to be magnetic. If you get to decide who you are, right? The fact is, whatever you believe about yourself, it's somebody else that has programmed your mind, right? It's somebody else that has loaded that software onto your mind. And now is the time to reprogram your mind yourself, to take ownership, to take personal responsibility, and to reprogram your mind yourself, right? It's empowering when you do that and you're just like, no, I'm not gonna take this as fact. I'm not gonna take this as the truth. I get to decide who I am. I get to decide who I show up to life as, right? And once you decide that in your mind, everybody else around you will concur with your belief about yourself. Everybody else will get into alignment with what it is that you believe. And yet, now and again, you might meet somebody who doesn't agree with your version of yourself, this new version of yourself, okay? They don't wanna get on board with that, but they won't stay in your life for very long because you won't be an energetic match, right? Especially if you don't give them any attention, right? If someone wants to come along and they wanna disrespect you and they don't see your magic, then they're not for you and they're not meant to be in your life. So you can just turn your attention away from them and towards people who are in agreement with how you perceive yourself, okay? So you wanna perceive yourself as magnetic. The way that you do that is through reprogramming your mind, through uh, meditation, through hypnosis, when you're relaxed, when you're about to fall asleep. That is when your mind is very susceptible to new beliefs, okay? Like a sponge, it will absorb these new beliefs and eventually it will assume that they are true, right? And that's the first thing. And repetition. People often say that affirmations don't work. They do work if you put emotion behind them, okay? So if you're relaxed enough, right? I think... Affirmations don't work for people who just do them robotically or believe that if they do them, they can earn a change or they can earn their manifestation. We don't do affirmations to earn anything, right? You do them. Repetition will help things to sink into your subconscious mind, okay? So these affirmations, what you want to affirm about yourself is that you are magnetic, right? You 
are a magnetic person. You're magnetic to love, right? You're magnetic to good people. You're magnetic to money. You're magnetic to opportunities, right? All of this. This is what you're magnetic to. You're magnetic to like-minded people. You're magnetic to high vibrational people. You're magnetic to people who respect you. You're magnetic to people who agree with your vision of yourself. You think of yourself as a magnetic person. I'm a kind person. I'm a good person. I'm a loving person. I am a special person. I am magnetic. All good things come to me. My life is so easy. My life is harmonious. My relationships are harmonious. My friendships are harmonious. My family is harmonious. My work is harmonious, right? You do that. You get that into your subconscious mind and then you will reprogram yourself, right? Once this is percolated down into your subconscious, it becomes the truth, okay? And it becomes your point of attraction. It becomes your point of attraction, okay? And your point of attraction is just like what's coming into you, the bandwidth to which you are attuned, okay? When you change that, what you experience in the 3D will be different. People will show up for you differently. The people that you already will come into, sorry, two things I want to say. You'll come into alignment with new people who agree with this new version of yourself who is magnetic, okay? You're increasing your magnetism. You will attract more new people into your life who agree with that. And then the people who are already in your life will change to mirror your new belief, right? You don't need to persuade them. Okay, there's no, you can't persuade anybody else to change their mind about you. You change your mind about you. Okay, you download some new software onto your mind. Don't let somebody else program your mind. Program it yourself. And you will find that once it has been installed, right, once the new software of like being magnetic has been installed, that the people around you will change. And this includes your specific person. They will change how they respond to you, right? If you've got this kind of subconscious vibe with your specific person of just like, oh, they'd never want me, I'm not good enough, right? I'm gonna get rejected. Even if you're acting confident, like if below all of that, there is this energy of like, I'm not quite good enough for this person, I've gotta work hard to get them, right? All of this, right? When you've changed that to just like, I'm magnetic, love comes my way, my specific person comes my way, opportunities come my way, money comes my way, that's what it means to be magnetic. You decide that you are magnetic. You can imagine that magnet inside you drawing all good things to you, okay? This is what you can do to increase your magnetism and the people around you will change. You'll attract new people. The people in your life will change how they perceive you, how they show up for you, and crucially, your specific person will change how they show up for you. The way that you change your specific person is by changing yourself, okay? So you wanna increase your magnetism, okay? So that what you want comes to you. No more chasing, no more earning. What you want comes to you, all right? You can be the cat that gets the cream. You can be that in that delicious energy of kind of receiving what it is that you want. We all know somebody who always gets what they want or who always lands on their feet, right? Or, or seems lucky or blessed in some way, right? You can be that person if you expect it with your expectations, okay? If you expect to be magnetic, if you expect to draw good things to you, then you will. All right, so those are my tips for increasing your magnetism. Decide that you are a magnetic person and draw all good things to you. I know that you can do it. Let me know how this resonates down in the comments below this video. I would absolutely love to hear from you and how uh, things are unfolding for you on your manifesting journey. If you wanna find out more about manifesting a specific person, then I've got a beautiful, comprehensive, best-selling masterclass. It is eight hours of video training with me. We've got six meditations and a workbook. It is excellent value in my opinion. People have been getting absolutely amazing results with this course. They are loving this course and coming into alignment with their beloved. So do check that out if it resonates. It's all linked in the description box below this video along with all the other resources that I have to help you to be empowered to manifest your desires, including guided meditations, subliminals, and three books that I've written from the heart. So check those out or they're all over on my website, claresummer.com. But I'm sending you lots of love and I hope to see you soon. Take care, bye-bye.